the Rick Vegas Betty Check, Collins, Time, also a digit of the moon and maker of the bright four nights. Our word calendar derived from color. Oh, well, you know the cycle? Oh, you know the cycle? Your calendar, you heard that the calendar was based off the woman's cycle. That's called collars. Collars. And there are 16 collars of lunar fluid in the terrestrial science, uh, uh, known to terrestrial science, that are situated in the organisms of the human female. Hence, Kali, the goddess of time, is also collars. Time, which is the source of energy that powers spacecraft. We're not talking about the physical spacecraft. We're talking about your spacecraft, which is the higher energy of your body. We'll get into that. When we, when converted into energy, collars appear to power, uh, uh, power that motivates uh, objects of spiritual vessels to travel at enormous infinite distance, di distances in a twinkling of an eye. Now, these ogres and collars and all of these things of inside the human female. And it all has to come together. It can only come together during those monthly cycles. But those, uh, during those monthly cycles in a man. Now, um, uh, a brother that I'm that, that I do my series of lectures with in um in 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 a uh, uh, in in Atlanta he goes out and he scouts out places because it's just like New York the places start shutting down so you can't get people to lecture so then you got to pander to this state thing here where you got to be out at a certain time when this shit's supposed to be going on till four in the morning so uh, so we we hook up those the spots from the last remaining conscious people who got a business and stuff so anyway he came and he said well I want to ask you a question he said um. And this gonna blow, this gonna, this gonna make you laugh like crazy. He said, um, is there anything in the human female that's real powerful? Um, I was like, oh yeah, ogres, collars, and all this type of stuff and all. I said, not, not, in, not including the menstrual blood, but just the stuff, you know, this in, 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 the, in the secretions. He was like, well, it's interesting. He said, I said, well, why? He said, well, it's interesting because I got a friend. And he said that, um, he just lost his job, so I, obviously, he, uh, uh, he wasn't Obama nothing and stuff because he got a girlfriend and I know the sister ain't sticking around the motherfucker ain't got no money for a long period of time and shit. <laughs> Damn that, nigga ain't got no job. <laughs> now brothers don't get mad because I'll tell you something about that. <clears throat> See, this, like, the sister is smarter than we are. Number one, a sister likes a man to stimulate her mentally also although she may not know it, so don't even think. She likes a man to be into something, a passion for something. But also, if you have knowledge, see, sooner or later, I don't give a damn, about a year, the goddamn peewee in the, in the cootie hole gonna get old. <laughs> That's just the way it is because you're supposed to go to another level. You understand what I'm saying? You see, but, a brother, if you ain't got no knowledge in your head, and a sister's smart, well, if motherfucker, you ain't got no knowledge in your head, then your motherfucking monkey ass gonna have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> she just smart on that shit. What you ain't, what you think, you little peewee shit? You see what I'm saying? Cause she, cause she's sexually rearing to go more than your ass. Oh, Mr. Macho Man, oh, wait about a goddamn year on that shit. And see who still be ready up for the damn shit. <laughs> Fuck the dumb shit. Because you the one that's got to give up. She is the Dracula, the vampire, the sucks, the semen up, the succubus, the house of Dracula, vampire, Nosferatu, plague carrier. The plague is those ogres. All that stuff is a form of melanin. So, so you got to pay, motherfucker, if you ain't get some here. So there's a lot of young brothers, little, like, you know, these sisters out here, and I say, well, number one, they're programmed by the European society because it also has something to do with security, too. They're looking for security. I said, but on the other hand, man, if you want to keep a woman with no money, you got to get some goddamn something in your brain. I'm a living witness. I'm a papa. I'm a papa. No bank account. No goddamn money. You see what I'm saying? Now, obviously, if it was something, now that, that, that's subject to, for somebody throwing my ass out the window a long time ago. <laughs> but a woman ultimately, I don't know what I do, I'm going to say, 
she's not made of those, those, those physical things, and ultimately that can't keep her. So basically, she, she, she taps into an inner cycle, and you got to give her all this money, because you ain't stimulating her mentally. You thinking the dick, that ain't got shit hell of it. <laughs> shit. That, you know what I'm saying? Big deal. They got vibrators for that shit. The point I'm trying to make here is... <laughs> The point I'm trying to make here is, if you, the point I'm trying to make here is, is this, if you put something in the head, then you got something that's, that can actually be something that can be challenging, you see. Now, going back to this, the brother said, well, you know, well, what's up, he said, um, um, did they have the spirit? I said, well, all that shit ain't nothing but they have melanin processing itself. Melanin is in the blood scene. That's called melusines. Melusines are these little mermaids. You get the word mermaids? Guess what mermaids are? These are alchemical term terminologists that later came up out of more than the mermaids and the melusines and all these types of things. The mermaids and the, the fairies is nothing but alchemical components in the ancient African's body and in the African body, basically in the particles in the blood scene, blood, in, in, the, in the bloodstream, which is melanin, the Dracula particle, Dracula, Draco. Draco is the, 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 the northern part of the hemisphere. And at her south gate is the star Sirius. Draco is the great mother, the great dragon, Leviathan, Tiaphon, Latiaphon, Dracon, Tiamat, Maat, Layla, Lilith, Lilith too, Hecates, Medea, all the demon shit that you think is evil. That's the great mother. Babylon. You see. So these particles, the mermaids, the fairy, that's extraterrestrial civilization that is inside of your melanin. That's who you are. So when your ancestors die, they go to live inside of you if they don't go to that fucking light. And get bounced off somewhere, uh, eating some goddamn uh, Funyuns and some fucking soda somewhere. You see what I'm saying? And some Skittles somewhere and shit. <laughs> In, in Mississippi and all, you see. It depends on whether you got to go. We'll get into that in a few minutes. But these melusines and these mermaids is alchemical terminology of literal extraterrestrial civilization in your blood. It showed you that in the movie, the last Star Wars movie. Um, no, the, the last Phantom Minutes. They said, what is this? They oh, well, chloramidiums. Chloramidiums are, is inside of the, the, the yeah. Jedi warriors, and these chloramidiums are little forms of extraterrestrial civilization. And they say you have more chloramidiums than most, and, but most people have the chloramidiums. Those are living entities, and those are your ancestral energies that's inside of you. That's the other realm. That other realm of mentor. A mentor is where your people go, but that's the deepest part of your subconscious when they go to live in you. Like my friend Bar Sisi, when his wife died in 1998, um, he immediately she started visiting him in, in the dreams. That's because she went to live inside of him because the light is weak now and you don't have to go to that bitch no more. We'll get into that in a few minutes. But the melusines and these mermaids and these little things inside of your body and the alchemical component that was literally turned into, it, well, first of all, it was turned into to, to mythology and fairy tales so it can teach a high advanced form. But the European, not, it not being his um, uh, mythology, in so many years, he misconstrued it as reality and real people. When you get the movie Photographing Fairies, when they took this flower and they tapped into the subconscious and they start seeing these fairies, and one part of the fairy came out of his mouth. That's because that's the mellow scene of the mermaid. You see what I'm coming from? That's the mermaid. Now the key here is this. These things are inside of the human female. They're inside of us too, but you just so got the gateway because you got a fucking opening. You understand what I'm saying? You got an opening. You know what I'm saying? We got an opening too, but piss come out of that shit. So, I mean, you got the real deal opening, which is the gateway for the demonic world. You are negative, dark, negative, Damien, Amen, Amen, Damien, Demon, which is the 
Damien is nothing but another fucking word for melanin. Demon is another word for melanin. If you study the ancient source and not doggone religion. Demon comes from the word Damien. The word Damien in Egypt is amen or amen. Hidden substance. In Greek is Damien, which and and in and in, and in, 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 in also in Rome is genie. And in Islam or Arabia is jinn. The jinns is melanin. We'll go into that in a minute, how they had to turn this whole underworld around so you turn against yourself. So when you worship, when, when, you, when you talk about, talk, uh, talk, uh, talk against Satan, you're talking against yourself in those particular churches. That's why they got one on every block. Well, we'll get into that in a few minutes, and we'll challenge anybody to think you know this shit. But because you can't come with no bullshit religion. Religion is false, all of it. So whether you are Muslim or Christian or Jew or what have you, if you are not dealing with its esoteric components, you are in falsehood. Fuck the dumb shit. Right. Right. Bottom line, and you can't integrate the damn two of thinking of no man running around no 2,000 fucking years ago who did not exist. Remember, sublime mythology makes grotesque history. So these metal scenes and these things are nothing but in the alchemical component of melanin. So when the brother came and said, well, you know, these things, these women, I said, yeah. I said, what's up? Why? He said, look, the, the, I got a brother that, 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 um, that basically, uh, he lost his job. And he didn't have no money, but he still had his woman. Every time I think a black man did, did some shit, here come another nigga that and invent some new shit. <laughs> I say, you know, black people will talk shit. That's like right that, that's the God level. He go home, boy, he get hungry, trembling. He said, <laughs> because he was full on those alchemical components that make them nutrients in the food anyway. Ozias, collars, metal scenes, mermaids. All of these things in the alchemical component of melanin. I said, man, I done heard it all now. <laughs> huh? Well, let's put it this way. You know, I heard a Christian say some bullshit like that, but you know what's interesting? If you go to India, on the temple walls, the oral sex thing is a part of the whole, what you call it? The Kama Sutra and all that stuff. And we're talking about stuff that go back years and it's not perverted. But if you're thinking in a patriarchal way and all this kind of thing, you remember that that was the whole part of the thing was to shut the woman down because she was the ultimate power of energy. You see what I'm saying? So they had to shut you down as being unclean with that old Muslim shit by you uncleaning you on your damn period. What kind of bullshit is that? So, fuck it, like I told you. You really want to make them rituals work? When you get on your period, put on some red drawers, some fucking red bra, <laughs> and you can wear that under your clothes. You know, go to your Victoria's Secret and get some burgundy, because that's the real moon muscle blood. And you wear that shit for about a, you know, while you're on your period, but then one day you're dressing all red when you're by yourself and you do them damn rituals. Get you a red candle. Write what you want down on red ink and do them damn rituals and then burn that paper that you wrote that shit on. And boom, that shit can't help but, ha help but happen because that's your power. But you've got to believe in it and you got to demand it and you got to understand that it's the power coming from you. Each person has the power to do what it owns, but you can't be doing with some motherfuckers up here out here in space or some gods out here in heaven. Because those are your enemy. Yes, we'll get into that in a few minutes. We'll get into that now. Because we need to make this clear because we have to line up on the side where the power is. Like I told you, we have an entire building in Russia. He has an uh, uh, entire building in Russia, so I can't spell fuck so. Spell seraphim. F-A-R-A. F-A-R-A. Slow now. B-I-N. 
M. U B I M. You have your seraphim and you have your cherubim. Your seraphim are ele elemental spirits. They basically are nature spirits outside of you permeating nature. You call them the archangels, or you call them the gods. The cherubim are your demons, or your demons, or your anti-gods. They are anti-gods because they are not elemental spirits. There's two different forms of energy. They're anti-gods and they're demons or Damians because they're shut up and they're bound and they're sealed off. Remember they said that Jesus, Satan was cast and bound for a thousand years or they bind the demons? The demons are nothing but the ogres, the mermaids, the metal scene, the collars, the collar chakra, the sit sit which means black, the cross which means black, Basically, melanin. This is your cherubim, your satanic realm. You can't line up with these motherfuckers at all. That's why your ass down here, broke, ass out, and all fucked up. These seraphim are elemental spirits. And we do use them as nature, and we manipulated them over the years as nature, but they have a but they have a complete system. And ultimately they will fight to reign supreme. The seraphim is nothing. But the human brain, that's the fucking enemy. Because it causes Maya and illusion. The matrix is the human brain, which is the heaven realm. You, the matrix is pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth that you are a slave. It's reality. Illusion, Maya, that they call it in the Vedic text, in the Vedic system. The human brain, logic, rationale, that basically the circuit and the wiring of this brain tell you that this shit is real and it doesn't even exist. Because you are nothing but a little small seed in the lower intestinal tract. The cherubim is the pineal brain up under the human brain somewhere in the middle. And the pituitary gland and the... Uh, the, the, the pituitary body, which is two or three glands or whatever, but three major glands, but the pineal, that is Satan. That's up under, in a mentor, I said a mentor is the, a mentor in Egypt, Hades in, <laughs> Hades or Tartarus in Greek, Hail or Hell, also in, um, uh, 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 it's called Sheol in real original Hebrew. These things are talking about the deepest part of the subconscious. Even when you meditate, you're trying to override the rational functions of the brain. Peyote and different types of mind altering drugs is to get to this particular thing, LSD. You understand what I'm saying? It resides in the underworld. Hell and Satan is the king of the underworld. But Christ comes and sits in the seat of Satan. But Christ is a Underworld entity has nothing to do with hell. It's an underworld entity. To resurrect, your motherfucking ass got to be down someplace else. Think about it. How the hell are you going to resurrect if you, ain't if you ain't dead? And how are you going to be, if you're the Christ, your ass is a damn Damien because you're a human because you, the, the demons are, are sealed up in you. You see what I'm saying? So Christ, Jesus, can't use the word Damien 
is the philosopher's stone, and the philosopher's stone is the stone that the builders rejected, and these stones are in the actual components of melanin. Melanin has all different types of alloys, minerals. Every mineral in the universe is inside of us, except there's one other mineral that comes beyond the known universe, and that is the crystal seed. Jesus, king of the Jews, jewels, stones, jewels, jewels, philosopher's stone, components of melanin, rocks, alloys, minerals, Jesus Christ, king of the jewels. Although jewel, because in order to be a jewel, you got to be have melanin, because melanin is nothing but ground up jewels. And that is the seraphim, Satan, prince of darkness, the angel of death. Osiris is who? The angel of death. Lying them into dead. All right. In the Rig Veda, guess what melanin is? In the Rig Veda, melanin is trimmed up a ground death. But see, you call it death because you are thinking this is life. So this is an illusion, a matrix. It doesn't exist. So what you call in death has to be life. Melanin is crushed death. When you incarnate, your body binds these, this melanin into it, and by your body being young, it has the power to keep it bound. And what the melanocenes or the extraterrestrial civilization, because they ain't got no shit to do with no fucking spaceships. Extraterrestrial just means the seed. It means terrestrial means earthbound. Extraterrestrial means something that is above the earth. And we, we <clears throat> came from beyond. So the Zohar tells you, which is found in Spain, brought up by the Spain, the Jews tell you that even the Kabbalah is the Zohar. Moses de, de, de Leon is nothing but something out of the Moorish library coming from the temple of Komombo and Kemet. The Zohar tells you that man thinks that God is on high while the angels in, on the, in, in, in heaven say God lives on earth. Because them seraphim, they are elemental spirits. And when you realize that you are God, they have to bow down to you. You see. But, The death realm, when you are bound in this body, until that body grows weak, death cannot escape, or you cannot go back to life. You can't get paroled. So what happens is it seizes the opportunity to go whenever the body is prematurely shut down or cut off or killed, or it seizes the opportunity when the body gets too weak to support it. These Damians release and go into other bodies until they build up into the last generation and now your motherfucking ass got the power but you praying to God. Fuck God. <laughs> that's the see, you see, that's the thing about, see, this is the thing I say, you got to question education. To come here and expect, to me, expect me to give you information that you already know that you can go, mm-hmm, yes, that's not education. Education is to challenge the very existence of existence. Why? Because the Rig Veda, the, 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 the Tibetan Book of the Dead said what? Enlightenment is what? The unreality of existence. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to be dead, go to fucking church. Fuck the preacher. Ain't nothing spiritual in that house. It's predicated upon a lie. We are world-class people. Damn this dumb shit with including everybody as being spiritual. Damn the church. God is the human brain and the and the God is the human brain and the elemental forces of nature that keeps you bound. You are beyond the known universe. You come from the blackness, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You were before God. God is the subordinate creator.
creature is created a temporary existence called creation. We can document all this if you have any problems with this. It's all in you. This is what the ancient Egyptians said. Now, the cherubim of the Damians walk out. But you're busy worshiping some entities. But these entities is in the human brain and the elemental forces of nature. It's simple. Their time is up from ruling. The only thing that can take the reins to become the true ruler of the omniverse and destroy the universe is man. Now we're going to really get into some shit in a few minutes. Is man. But you're worshiping them, but they understand these forces, understand that they don't want to relinquish power. So long as they can keep you thinking that they are real and you only make them real through your own mind. Mm -hmm. They only exist, let me tell you, God only exists between exists with you. You see what I'm saying? Even, even the damn in the Bible, the Jesus of the Bible, because part of that is Gnostic script. The Jesus of the Bible said, this kingdom is not my father's. It's right in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? And my point is that this here, motherfucker tell you to forgive your enemies and love everybody, tell Jesus to forgive Satan. Being that I really can't see shit that he did wrong. We say he wanted to be like his father. Well, if you if you're a little boy and you see your father, you might don't you want to be like your father? Mm -hmm. Depends on the story that you're dealing with here. You see what I'm saying? But we're world class people, and if you're going to deal with spirituality, you got to go on. We're not talking about ritual to sustain human life. Now, ultimately. We understand that you're trying to get through the devil and all that, and we have a lot of information, but that is resistance. And yes, we have resistance. I talk about it in hard copy. I talk about it, and I talk about how fucked up it is out here. But also, too, we got to understand, on the other hand also, too, that we didn't get anything left behind to us, but the stuff that we wrote that was left behind is spiritual shit. But the spirit we talk about don't have nothing to do with moralism and religion of 2,000 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Now, on, uh, on dealing with this, we must understand greater aspects of spirituality. You see, a greater aspects of, of, of spirituality. These entities don't want to relinquish power, but they are steady deteriorating. And I tell you that your way out of here is decay. And basically, decay is the physical body. And because it is steady deteriorating, that means that the time is up to hold you down. You are not your physical body. Go get the, go see the movie, the fucking um, um, Fight Club. That's what the whole shit was about. They were beating up on the physical body. And homeboy said, hold your hand out here. He put that acid on his hand. You got to realize that God really don't love you. And you are not your physical body. And you are not that job. And you are not that car. And until two of you lose everything. You won't be free. And he was talking, in the whole movie he was talking to his, it wasn't but one person. You thought it was Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was the alter ego, and it wasn't up with one person. The guy, what's the guy's name? Ed Norton. Ed Norton. And until he shot himself in the damn head, and the bullet came out his throat, then he was free. It didn't kill him, it came out his neck. He put the gun in his mouth, and it came out the side. And they say, you ain't free until you hit rock bottom. Well, you know what? We are on rock bottom but we're trying to cling to a damn system. And it's not just the white man system, the system of life. You're afraid to let go. Once you go to the death realm and contemplate death, then you got it. So part of the ritual, and I was upset, the part of the ritual was to damn kill ourselves. Well, don't get things, you said that nigga, that's crazy. Well, let me get you to damn, what, what Mr. 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 Egypt motherfuckers up in here? Not you. We talking to the dog on tape, because I know that people talk shit when they hear radical stuff, but that's education. <laughs> that, I told you that's true education. We're not dealing with stuff, you know, oh, my art, my art, beautiful my art, and the natural, that's bullshit. Why don't you try to tap into that and try to find out? That was the Afrocentric movement, and that was the first level. They had to introduce us into that, but then again, on the other hand, we're talking about the known mysteries. Here's the book, Revel in the Soul, by Beaker Reed. It was a smaller book. 
Ancient Egyptian dialogue between man and his destiny. His destiny is he talking to his own self, his soul. And, and his soul. Let me give you the, uh, what, look at this. Um, let, 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 me, let me show you the, the original text. The original text was called A Man Tired of Life. You see, uh, in a dialogue with his soul, a man tired of life in dispute of his soul. This was an ancient Camite text where a guy is trying to get to the other side and he's trying to tell his soul that man, fuck this shit. It's time to die. It's time to get off this realm. But guess what? They didn't write stuff based on history. This thing is a dialogue of your soul talking now. Because literally, do you, you ever heard the little thing they say, oh, whom do I speak to? Man is all messed up. There is no end to treachery and evil. That couldn't have been Kemet. It was talking about now. This is an eschatological piece. It's eschatology. So revel in the soul is you're rebelling because now it's time to go to the other realm. We have used up this world. Hey, come on now. Let's, let's not be funny with this fucking mess. See, I'm realistic about this because I want to produce things. Niggas ain't going to do shit. Come on, man. But I understand that that's a part of the decay. It's such a vast thing. First of all, number one, even if you took a black people and raised them up to a certain level, you see what I'm saying? They're going to have children and more and more children and more people mean more problems because you got to have more food to eat and it's a never-ending cycle. So what we're doing is we're teaching the mysteries. This is what the mysteries is. Well, some people say this crazy. Well, why were the Camites or the Egyptians preoccupied with death? Why was the entire realm based on death. You understand what I'm saying? But my point here is us as black people, we're going to have to look at that because religion tell you what? Be glad that your ass alive. He woke me up this morning. That bullshit. And everything is based on life. Life is over with. The devil is ruling. You all are getting this thing Life is over with. End of the fucking story. It ain't gonna happen. Why it's not gonna happen? Because you did it for a million years. Or a billion years. But let's look at it this way based on life. Uh, uh, well, uh, 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 look at this based on life. The, let's look at this based on life. You saying that you're glad to be alive. Meanwhile, there's entities inside of you, which is your ancestors and yourself, is saying, damn, we want to get out of this bullshit. But your physical body is keeping it going because you're trying to get a piece of the American pie.